Hey guys, so today we've got a T14S Gen 2 teardown. Just like my previous video, I will be disabling the built-in battery in the BIOS to start with, and then we will get on to removing the base cover and talking about the internals inside. There we go, simple as that. So next to the laptop here, I have my screwdriver, my tool to take out the base. I also have a pointer. I'll use it to point out the individual components of the laptop. I also have a two terabyte SSD. I will show you how to take out an SSD and install a different one. This is the maximum that Lenovo say that you can use in your laptop. I believe you can go even higher than that with today's standards, but some of them are double-sided, whereas this one, for example, just has chips on one side. Also, inside the laptop, there will be a thermal pad under the SSD. I'll get to all that later. A SIM removal tool to take out the SIM tray at the back, and also a 4G card. Now, your laptop may or may not ship with 4G or 5G. I'll just be able to show you that this 4G card does fit into the slot. As you can see, there are one, two, three, four, five screws in this one. I'll start with the screws around the edge. And then I'll also take out the SIM tray at the top. Be very careful to get up and under the base cover, like so. Come down, make sure it's lift straight off. Let me have it. A lot simpler than the previous model I, I dealt with. As you can see here, there are one, two, three, four, five clips along the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six on the top and the sides. Also, one, I believe, two in the middle. Also, just some other bit extra, the vent for the fan, for example. As you can see, there isn't really much to upgrade. Battery, one, two, three, four, five, six screws. They should just pop right out. Lift up like so, and place down like so. As we can see, this is quite interesting. There's still only one heat pipe controlling the Intel CPU and the new Intel XE graphics. Hope your laps don't get too hot. It's quite nice to see there is at least one door to board. If the, your USB port was to ever stop working, that should be a simple replacement. So as you can see, our laptop has come pre-installed with a 512 SSD. There's it on the SSD there. Simply unscrew, lift out and remove. As you can see, there's a thermal pad there. As to not let the SSD get too hot, simply take your new SSD, for example, slot it in. Place it down, put the screw over the top, just like so. As you could see though with the SSD, there's, as there's only chips on one side, this SSD is fine, but we wouldn't recommend going higher than two terabytes of SSD storage because the other side would be configured with chips and that would mean removing the thermal pad underneath, which is not recommended. Fortunately, the RAM isn't upgradable. That means you must configure it with 8, 16, or I believe 32 gig at purchase. While it is DDR4X, I believe, it is unfortunate that we can't, we can't add another stick. But I mean, we're saving a lot of space here and the thinness of the design is quite remarkable. This is the Intel Wi-Fi on board. It is Intel AX210. I believe that is Wi-Fi 6E standard. So here is the 4G card that we already had in the office. As you can see, it would, in theory, fit in the slot here and screw down there. I believe at purchase, there is the option of 4G, 5G, or no support. I believe we would have gone for the no support because there is no integrated card here. Going back to the heatsink design, I really like this from Lenovo, that it would be really simple to repaste. It's simply four screws and they should come off. Just be careful of these very small, fragile cables. And then you can simply repaste on the CPU and the GPU place the cooler back on and screw back on. As you can see, these cables here will be for the keyboard and the trackpad, protected by a layer of anti-static tape. And now I'll show you how to put the base cover back on. Place the cover back on like so from the bottom, make sure everything's lined up. From the top, click everything in, there we go. Just a little note, there is a keyhole down here. This is to reset the laptop. If you're having any issues with software or maybe even hardware, you should simply turn off the laptop 
Let's let me try back in. Turn the laptop back round. Plug it in because we disabled the battery. Okay, the light little flickered then. And we're back. Hope you found this video helpful. Please like and subscribe, it will really help us. Hope you have a good day.